The 300 bed project was started in 2016 through the internally generated funds of the 37 Military Hospital Command, but stalled in 2018 due to lack of support. The Justborn Group of Companies came to complete the project in 2021. The executive chairman of the Justborn Group of Companies, Dr. Siyangwe Japon, pledged to continue to contribute towards the country's development. The Just One group of companies in the bid to give back to society supports organizations that impact a great majority of the Ghanaian population because it resonates with our corporate big mission uh, as the corporate mission of the company is improving the lives of people. The contribution of the military to the socioeconomic development of Ghana cannot be overemphasized and so it's many institutions that is linked to the health and well-being. This is why any contribution to support the smooth running of the major health facility, the 37 military hospital, will not be overlooked by the Jospon group of companies. President Ikufo Ado reiterated his government's continued support for the armed forces. The MPP government of President Nanado Danko Ikufo Ado is fully committed to the well-being and welfare of the men and women of the Ghana Armed Forces. We will continue to stay true to the pledges we made in our 2016 and 2020 manifestos, which brought into and retained my party, the new Patriotic Party and I, in office. Government will continue to construct much needed accommodation infrastructure to enable the 37 military hospital and the Ghana Armed Forces perform their role as required by the Ghanaian people. At the Air Force Base, he handed over a 100-bed UN field hospital to the Ghana Armed Forces. The facility, donated by the United Nations, was formerly a COVID-19 center during the peak of the pandemic and will now be used as an emergency facility at Gonda Barracks, the president presented some 70 cameras, utility vehicles, 20 BRTs, 70 armored personnel carriers, 20 Husky armored vehicles, 65 assorted Toyota vehicles, and a number of communication gadgets to the Ghana Armed Forces. He further inspected an armored bullion van assembling plant of the armed forces and then moved to the Burma camp, where he commissioned newly constructed CDS office complex and cut sort for the construction of general headquarters office complex and 2,000 housing units for the Navy.